Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful to you. It is the Lord's doing, and it is always marvelous in our sight. Father, we are grateful to you, bringing us to the 29th month, which is the last month in the month of the last day in the month of February. To you be all the glory. As we prepare to enter into the new month, give us the direction via your word. Tell us your mind for today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. Today is the 29th day, the last day of the month of February 2024. To God be the glory. The word for our shower today is beware of competition. Beware. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 says, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 2. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. What a scripture. So it is unwise to compare yourself with another. A life of competition can put someone under unnecessary pressure. And that can lead to heaviness, grief, and pain. And this is so common today in ministries and among pastors. In the name of comparing themselves with one another, enter into serious spirit of competition. Pastors are no longer concerned about spiritual growth, but they have what they have and what others don't have. What do I have in my ministry that the other person doesn't have? And this has pushed many pastors into debt. I remember when our ministry began eight years ago, there was no need for public address system. We ran the ministry for more than a year before we, not that we couldn't afford the microphone and speakers, but who, we were thinking of giving hope to the widows. The platform was basically for widows. Is it this old women, you are, what would they do with uh, keyboard of uh, 500,000. In short, we had some of those things, but we locked them aside. When the youth started coming in, and we tell them, we, we tell them that we have equipment, they thought we were lying. They, it, was, it was looking abnormal. We had good sound equipment. But we needed to build the people first. Let's stop this line of competition. You see, those that measure themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, they are not wise. Let us have a lowly spirit, lowliness of mind. After Philippians chapter 2, verse 3, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. It's so common in the Yoruba culture. The man prostrating before you, greeting you, can buy the other person and the family entirely, but lowliness. I have met a very rich man in Lagos one time, prominent man, you know, I, I think he was, that man was uh, a peer to Aikomo. Aikomo was the vice president then, I guess. He was a, he was a naval officer. Now, this man, after the picnic in Redim, 
he was busy packing things. Debris were cleaning the environment. We're cleaning the environment. You know, I came to see my brother then. We're cleaning the environment. And he, after everything, you know, he was busy packing the chairs. All of us, I never knew who the man was. There was nothing on him, whether wearing or look that make him look important. But he said, Oh, ah, Haruna, you are around your brother. And so, let's go to my house. It was when we got to the house. I saw his picture with the president of this country, picture with the president of this country, picture with different, different president of nation. I was amazed. See Manson. You see, but at the church, he was like a nobody. I heard a man of God talking about a church in Lagos that owners of bank are ushers. Owners of, I'm not talking about microfinance, I'm talking about big commercial bank. They are ushers in churches. So what are you, what do you have to compare yourself with yourself? He you said, those who does that, they are not wise. So do you want to be associated with the unwise? Be wise to do. Stop comparing yourself with one another. It is your allocation. And you don't know the timing. It could be that you should be there for like two years to learn some things. I don't know why God brought me back into ministry. Maybe he took me to the business world so that I can learn some things. So before coming to ministry. But there is a purpose. I will not compare myself with those who immediately after they left the university, maybe at the age of 27, 28, began ministry already. I will not sit today and say, oh, how I wish I started 20 years ago when I left school. No, yours is the time appointed unto you. I pray today that the lesson of competition should be well learned by you today. Don't compare yourself with anybody. See, yours is yours. When the time comes, everyone will open. Where you are now is not the end. And where you are now cannot be the beginning. You understand? You are on the process. Because where you are now, you are not there. About two, three years ago, it's a process. Even a child that was born last week has gained some days already. So, just know that you are moving. And you will definitely reach your destination. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you, glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you. Amen.